Hello friends, today in this video, let me quickly show you how to open port on Azure VM, right? So what I'll do, I think, I will just navigate to the portal, Azure portal, where I have already logged into the, the portal. I will show you the complete steps to do this. Okay, now let me go there. You can able to see I have already logged into my Azure portal. So what you can do here, you can search for virtual machines and click on the virtual machines are the search result under the services click on that here you can able to see the virtual machines you have right so i have one virtual machine so i can able to see that one only click on the virtual machine name and then what you can do you can expand this networking node okay you can expand this networking node from the left navigation and then you can click on the network settings and then you can able to see it here this particular screen right so here what you can do you can click on the plus create port rule right here you can able to see the drop down right uh, just click on the inbound port rule okay click on that and then you can able to see it here add inbound security rule right so here in the source you can choose any and the source port ranges if you have any range of port to specify you can do that okay and then destination port range also you can specify based on that or if you want any specific services okay instead of custom you just choose here suppose i will choose rdp okay which is 3389 port by default it will make public okay so based on the service it will you know, disable that particular port and then you can choose the action over here which is quite important okay either you can allow, you want to allow it publicly or deny it it's based on your uh, requirement so in this case we have to make it allow because we are trying to add a public port so you select the allow option and then if you priority you need to mention uh, something 200 300 like that and then you can able to see it here rdp port 3389 is exposed to the internet okay so this is only recommended for testing okay for a production environment we recommend use a vpn or a private connection right so this is security perspective it is showing you a warning message right so basically you need to choose the uh, you know type of service and then uh, you need to mention the action as allow and then the priority okay and if you want to uh, you have a certain range of port, ports that you want to allow as a public you can specify either star means it will start from any number right and if you want to specify a particular number that also you can type and then this, i mean the service you have to make it custom and then choose the port range right whatever you want you can specify that particular range and then protocol you can choose you want tcp udp or icmv for and then the action priority anything right so in my case what i want to do i want to uh, do the rdp as 3389 okay and uh, remember that if you don't want uh, suppose you want the ssh you can select that by default to port number 22 it will make you as a public one and you action also you choose allow and then priority uh mention something like 200 300 you can able to if you put the cursor over here you can read this instructions okay and uh, click on the add rule so for me what i'll do i'll make it rdp as i told you and i will click on the hard rule the moment you will do that you can able to see creating security rule it is successfully done now and you can able to see it here right allow any rdp inbound which is port is 3389 and protocol is tcp source is any and destination is any right now it will allow it you publicly right you can able to see it it is allow allow if you make it deny then um, it will not allow you that particular port to access publicly your vm right so this is how you can open a port uh, publicly for your azure virtual machine these are the steps basically you need to follow to do that. So that's it uh, for today, guys. I thought to quickly show you how to open a port for
for your Azure virtual machine publicly and uh, these are the steps you need to follow to do that. Thanks a lot for watching this video guys. If you found this video a little helpful for you, kindly subscribe to our channel to support us so that you will get lots of free Azure tips, independent helpful Azure PowerShell commands, Azure CLI commands and many more. Thanks a lot again guys and have a nice day. Bye-bye.